Hi, my name is Alex. And I'm Bruce. And we're going to be presenting our lab, which is called uh, Properties of Water. So the purpose of this lab is to find the cohesive and adhesive uh, properties of water and find the standard deviation of drops of distilled water and distilled water with soap. If the soap is applied to the penny, then there will be less droplets on the original pen due to the soap affecting the hydrogen bonds. You will be needing some pennies, some Q-tips, and a beaker to hold your distilled water. You'll also need soap. For your safety, you're going to be using soap in this lab, so be careful not to um, have any contact into your eyes because soap is an irritant. And a pipette, and most importantly, don't forget your distilled water. <laughs> Use your pipette to add distilled water onto the penny drop by drop until it overflows. And make sure to count the drops. Be sure to record the number of drops for each trial. You're going to be repeating these steps for five trials. Now, get soap and put it onto your Q-tip. And spread a thin layer onto your penny. Again, add distilled water onto your penny drop by drop until it overflows. Again, record your data and repeat for five trials. So once you have your data, you need to do some data analysis to find the mean. What you're going to what you're going to want to do is. Add up all your data points here and divide it by 5 since that's the number of trials that we have. To find a standard deviation, you can use a formula which is going to be on the screen. So what you want to do to find a standard deviation is you're going to want to take your data here and subtract it from the mean and square it. Once you do that, you're going to then add up those um, numbers that you get once you square it and then divide it over n minus 1. n being 5 cents, that's the number of trials that we have. So n minus 1 is 4. You would then take what you got for the sum, over, divide it over 4, and then square root it. And that's how you would get your standard deviation. To find the plus and minus 1 STD, what you're going to want to do is add your standard deviation to your mean and subtract your standard deviation for your mean to get those two. To find the plus 2 and minus 2 STD, what you're going to want to do is times your standard deviation by 2. And then once you get that, you can then add it to your mean to get the first one and then subtract it for your mean to get your second one. To find the standard error, there's going to be a formula up on the screen. What you want to do for that is you're going to take your standard deviation 
and then divide it by the square root of n, which in this case n is 5. So that's the number of trials that we have. And then to find your plus or minus 2 SEM, what you want to do is take your standard error and times it by 2. Once you get that, you're going to want to same thing add it to your mean and then subtract it to your mean to get the first two points. And then you repeat for your next set of data. So what you want to do is you want to highlight Patrick, stop. You want to highlight your mean and then you want to go to insert and then go to put it insert and then go to recommended charts and then you click OK and then right here for the plus sign you go here axis titles standard error bars on the right of it you click this little arrow a little more options and over here you will be clicking this little bar go down to custom and specify value and here you go you have your two SEM we don't have to uh, square, square it. So what you want to do is highlight this, and go to this one. Go to, you already highlighted for the positive one, so go to the negative one. Go to negative. Highlight that one. Click OK. If that doesn't work, do this. Click that one. Highlight it again. Click that. Click this again, click that, click that again, and you should have your standard error bars. To label the axes, just press back, remember get rid of the 1 and 2, get rid of that. And then for this one, I want you to label it, so this one could be like, this one right here is uh, the one without soap and the one with soap and number of drops and then that's what it should look like. Thank you for watching and that was our presentation.